Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to remake the part that I did in class, uh, just as a reference in case you got lost or uh, ran into some issues on your own. Hopefully this video will help you uh, overcome some of those issues as you're drawing or you're making um, uh, SOLIDWORKS uh, parts or your assignments or your projects. So the first thing I want to show you is the slide deck that's available on Blackboard. This is the same slide that has been available on Blackboard. Um, it shows the uh, in-class exercise that we did. Um, so this is the part one. So if you're ever stuck um, or if you're not sure about something, this slide deck is a good reference guide. It tells you some of the options and uh, the menu options in SOLIDWORKS, as well as the, literally the, uh, the figure that we, we built together in class. Okay, so I'm going to use this again as my reference. I'm going to look at this, get all the dimensions. Uh, I'm going to look at this drawing to get all the dimensions. And then, uh, you know, just use this as my guide. And I'm going to demonstrate it using, uh, I'm going to rebuild this whole thing in SOLIDWORKS uh, in this video. Okay. Let me switch over to SOLIDWORKS. Okay. So again, when you open up SOLIDWORKS, this is typically your screen. Um, if you have trouble accessing solid, SOLIDWORKS, again, the options are you could always use the one on Guacamole. Uh, you could install your own version if you have a PC, uh, or you can use any of the lab computers in our building. Okay. So in our case, we're going to build a part. So I'm going to click on part. Okay. Uh, I do want to remove it. Yes, I do. Uh, I just reinstalled re SOLIDWORKS um, in this computer today. So this uh, may take a little bit here. Um, once this loads, I'm going to start building. So let's give it a second here, hopefully quickly. Finally loaded. Okay, so uh, let's get started here. Um, as I said in class before, I think one of the key things about SOLIDWORKS is um, understanding a sketch. Uh, I think if you understand how sketch works, very much easier to kind of navigate, understand, uh, you know, what can be edited, what can be fixed, etc. Um, so in our case, um, the first thing we're going to do is build a base of our uh, of our model. So it's a rectangular base. So I'm going to start with a sketch. So on the upper left hand side here, the sketch option. Click on sketch. Okay, and I click on this sketch icon here. Okay. Once I do that, by default, it'll it'll show these three planes. It asks you here, select the plane on which to create a sketch for the ent entity. In our case, we're basing the bottom, we're creating the bottom base. So the plane I'm going to build is the top plane, okay? Because I want this to basically be, you know, going to build a right, I'm going to draw a rectangle on basically the floor, right? And then I extrude it upwards so as if it's popping out of the ground, right? So I click on the top plane, okay? So I don't adjust, and then um, we're going to take take advantage of these coordinates here, or these axes here, okay? On the left, lower left-hand corner, it also shows you the the, uh, the direction, X, Z, the Y direction, okay? Um, so let's create a rectangle. So I'm gonna uh, click on the corner rectangle here, okay? I'm gonna start with the origin here, zero, zero, okay? I'm gonna just draw a rectangle, okay? Um, you don't have to worry about getting exactly correct. Our, our rectangle is a three by three uh, square, we actually don't have to make it exactly three by uh, three, three, right, uh, three, inch, three inches right now because I'm going to use smart dimensions to set the correct length here. Okay, so I'm going to click and then it's going to make a square. Okay, I'm going to pan into this uh, square. The one shortcut key you can use is if you could press control and if you have a center scroll in your mouse, you click on your center scroll, press control, then oops, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, you got to press center, I'm sorry, control and hold on to that center. Uh, scroll button, then you could pan left, right, and center, okay? You can also use these uh, dis display of view orientation, the display options up here, okay? Um, you know, we're looking at from the top view, right? So when I go to the top view, now I have this uh, you know, the rectangle I just made, okay? I could zoom in and out as well, okay? All right, so I'm gonna make this into a square, three by three square. I'm gonna use smart dimensions. I'm click on smart dimension, start at the top here, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically hover over that top edge, okay? And you can see that color changes. And I'm gonna click, bring it out, and then a dialog box comes out. This, this is where you can set the length here. I'm gonna set it to three inches, okay? That's updated. 
And I'm also going to go to my right side here, the right edge, and I make this side also to be chest. Okay. I have a three by three uh, square. Okay. Um, so this, if I look at this in 3D, I can go into um, the isometric view here. I click on this. It's basically a square on the floor, right? Okay. Um, my ratings are base is a three by three and it's one inches high. Okay. So I need to actually take this surface and make sure it comes out one inches from the ground. Okay. So I'm going to exit my sketch at this point. Okay. And then while I have my sketch one highlighted, I'm going to go to features and then go to extruded boss surface. Okay. Click on that. Okay. And then um, right now you can kind of look at the look at a, a little preview here. Um, let me just hand it this way to kind of see it. Okay. So it looks like it's 0 0.1 inches coming out of the floor here, or, or it's got a height of 0 0.1 inches. Okay. I'm going to set the direction to the default going, um, this, the direction it's pointing at right now. Um, you can tell by this arrow here. Um, I'm going to set it to blind. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to change this to one. Okay. So now I have the square now that's been extruded one inches, a one inch off the ground, or it's one inch high now. Okay, so this is our rectangular base. Now. Okay, so let's say okay. Now we have our rectangular base. Okay, what do we do next now? So after we get our one inch base, okay, let, let me change my screen here so you guys look at the um, look at our uh, model that we're trying to uh, replicate here in SolidWorks. Okay, so if you look at this now, the next thing I probably want to do is make this little rectangle here. Um, one thing I want to point out is in this drawing, it says this is a front view, right? This side. Okay. So the front view is typically the left hand side when you look at an isometric drawing, right? And then you have the front view, right view, and the top view, right? So if this is my front view, then I know I got to place this rectangle basically on the lower right hand corner. Okay. So we're going to keep that in mind. Okay. So if I can make this rectangle, that's to make this rectangle start from the lower right hand corner, then everything will work out, right? Okay. So I'm gonna go back to SolidWorks, okay? and then I'm gonna build that other rectangular piece, piece that sits on top of this rectangular base now. Okay. So I'm gonna now um, create another sketch. Okay. So I can again. Let me change the view here so that it's a little more centered. Um, uh, view. Okay, so um, I can click on this um, surface here and start sketching, or I can just say click on sketch and then press the sketch option again. And it tells you here, select a plane or a planar surface or an edge on which create a sketch for entity or an existing sketch to add the entity to the sketch. Okay, in our, in our case, we want to build it on this surface, right? We're going to really build everything on top of this surface. So I'm going to click on that surface. Okay, automatically it's going to give you that top view. And like I said, the front view is this bottom edge for us, right? Okay. So I'm going to we have to draw a rectangle from this corner out. Okay. So I click on the corner rectangle again, and I start on this lower right hand side, and then again just bring it out this way. Um, again, I don't have to make the dimensions correct this time. Uh, right now, I'm going to use smart dimensions to make sure it's the correct uh, this correct length. Okay. And then click. And then I'm going to click on Smart Dimensions. I know this edge here uh, is basically halfway from here to here. So this has to be 1.5 inches. Okay. And then uh, we, we also know that this length here is one inch deep. Okay. So, so before you make the Smart um, Dimension, uh, make sure that edge is correctly selected and change this color to orangish color, right? So that's why I know it's, I'm selecting the right um, edge there. Okay. So I'm done with the sketch. Okay. And if I again take a look at the isometric view here, okay, um, I've created this rectangle on top of my rectangular base now, right? Okay. Now I'm going to extrude this out one inches again. Okay. So again, I'm going to get out of my sketch. Okay. And I'm going to click on the sketch that I just made, or you can select on it if you want, sketch two. Okay. And I'm going to go to features and then extrude, um, uh, extrude a bo uh, boss or base again. 
right, right now it's set at one inch blind. You can kind of tell you can just tilt it and see. Okay, so one inch. This is what we want. And then say okay. And now you have rectangle that's on top of our rectangular base. Okay, great. So uh, we've built uh, the two pieces that we want. We're going to have to add a tower later. But before I move on, I probably want to make that circle here Okay, in that drawing. Okay. Um, we know that circle has a diameter, I believe, of one inch. Let me double check the units here or the dimension. The diameter is actually half an inch, so 0 0.5 inches. That's the diameter of the hole. Okay, and it's centered on this rectangle. Okay, so let's make that you know, let's make that circle, let's make a circle on the surface and then extrude it out. Okay, um, so the best place to do that is probably on the front view now, right? Uh, if you were to make try to extrude it out over here, it's gonna is that could be correct or up here, right? It's gonna be you're gonna have to extrude it out from this side, right? Or you know, from this side if you wanted to, right? But probably doesn't make sense to do from that side. It's easier to do it on this side. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my front view, okay, right here. If you front view right here, okay. I'm gonna go to my front view, okay. I'm gonna create a circle here. Okay, so again, I'm gonna go to sketch, click on the sketch option, it'll ask you again, click a surface. Like a plane, planar face, or an edge, or existing sketch. I'm gonna draw my circle on this surface, right, on this side over here. Okay. So then I'm gonna go to a circle, click on the circle option, and then it starts from the middle of the circle, and it, and you draw it outwards. So I'm gonna click, and then I click again, some radius. Okay. Again, if the dimensions off or not, you don't have to worry about it. We're gonna specify here using smart dimensions. Okay. So the diameter of this hole is five inches. I'm sorry, zero, half an inch, 0 0.5 inches. And I want to make sure it's centered, okay? So I'm going to use smart dimension now to first set the radius here, okay? So I'm going to um, just click on the radius of this, okay? And bring it out, okay? And we know this value has to be 0 0.5, 0 0.5 inches, okay? And if you look at the circle, it kind of it kind of looks centered already, but we're not exactly 100% sure. So let's center it, okay? The way you center it using smart dimensions is you, you start with a reference edge. Okay, so in our case, we're gonna use this reference edge here. Okay, we're gonna click on that edge, and then we're gonna click on the circumference or the outer the outline of that um, circle. Okay. But once I click on that, right, and then I can set the set the length from the the edge, the left edge to the center of that circle. Okay. So we know this whole thing is 1.5, right? The, the length of this side. Or I'm, yeah, uh, I'm sorry, not 1.5. The length of this whole thing is three inches. The length of this smaller rectangle is 1.5. So then we know this the, from this edge, the center of that circle has to be 0.75. Okay. Now it's centered in the x direction. Now I want to center in the y direction. So I'm going to again start with the reference edge here. Okay, I'm going to start with the reference edge here. Come down and touch the uh, um, outer circumference of that circle. Okay. And then I'm going to up here. And the height of that um, rectangle is one inch. So to center that circle, then this value needs to be a half, half an inch. Right. So now we know the circle is centered. Okay. Uh, let's go to an isometric view. Um, so you have some options here. Um, so now you can see we have the circle. Okay, now we want to drill a hole from here, here to the other side, right? Okay, again, this is a very easy thing to do. I get out of the sketch, okay? And then while I have sketch three highlighted, which is a circle, I'm going to go to, and let me move this uh, thing out of the way, okay? Um, I'm going to go to uh, features again, okay? And then I'm going to go to, I'm going to click on extruded cut, okay? Click on extruded cut, and then you have this option pop up. Um, it says blind right now, and it, that just means you know you can set the length of it. Uh, let me turn this around. You kind of see one the, the the thickness of that rectangle is one inch, so it's going to stop right right there. If you want to kind of pull all the way across, right? Technically, you could also do through all, right? And then you can see where it's going, right? Okay. In our case, no, either way it works, right? Because we know this this thing is one inch, so this will actually make a hole uh, you know, throughout. Oh, it'll, it'll make a clean hole. Um, through this rectangle, okay? I'm gonna say, okay. All right, let me go to the front view here. And then you can see here, that's you know, from the front view. 
Wait, it's made a clean hole through. Oh, through. Okay. This is from the right side view, I believe. Okay. And then it's going to see that. Outside, we can't see it there. But let me go back to the front view. Okay. So now we have the hole extruded. Okay. All right. So we're done with the with the, uh, the rectangular piece on top of the rectangular base with the hole. Now add, let's add in that tower okay, that we want to add. So the tower is basically the same idea, right? We, we want to place a tower on this surface here. We're going to place it on top, okay? And then we're going to make a cut at some point, right? So again, I'm going to start with a sketch, okay? I'm going to click on sketch, okay? Then it's going to tell you which surface, right? I'm going to make that tower on this surface, right? So I'm going to click on that surface. I'm going to go to that surface, okay? Uh, that rectangle is 2.25 inches, uh, two and a quarter wide, and 1.5 inches deep. So it's going to be basically 2.25 this way, and then one and a quarter up. Okay. A couple ways to do this. So if it's 2.25 wa inches wide, then we know it's basically 1.5 up to this point, 0 0.75 this way. Okay. Because it's basically halfway through this uh, rectangle, okay, which is 0 0.75. And then the remaining 1.5. So 1.5 plus 1.75, you get 2.25, right? So again, I'm going to start with a rectangle, okay? Uh, I probably want to start at the middle here just to make it easier on myself, okay? Um, so one thing here, uh, it should, there, you see there, there, that this is basically the midpoint of that line, okay? So I can use this as my guide, okay? I'm going to click, and bring it all the way out, and I'll just put it somewhere over here, okay? So once I do this, um, I know this length here, I don't even have to put smart dimensions. It's gonna be 2.25 inches, right? Because it's 1.5 inch from this edge to this edge and 0 0.75 inches to this edge, okay? So then all I have to do is specify the, 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 the depth or the height of this side, okay? It's gonna be 1.5 inches. So I'm gonna click on smart dimensions, click out that edge here, that value is 1.5. Let me give you a 3D view here so you can see what it looks like. I've, built, I've, I've created this rectangle on that surface, okay? Now I'm going to extrude this out two inches high, okay? Because that's the tower is two inches high, okay? Get out the dimensions here. Uh, I'm going to exit the sketch, okay? I'm going to make sure the sketch for selected, go to features, go to extruded bossy base again. Uh, by, right now it's stopping at one inch. We want to make this two inches, right? So I'm going to say two. Now it's two inches high, say okay. And then now I have this tower, almost rectangular base, okay? Um, the last thing we need to do is to make a cut, okay? So let me show you the picture here again. We have to make this little cut, right, okay? Uh, so we're gonna make this a fillet or chamfer. So we're gonna make this cut, okay? Um, so. There's a few ways to do it. I think, well, I think the easiest, in my opinion, the easiest way to do it is just kind of use the preview to your advantage here, okay? We know the the, the length of these cuts are 0 0.5 inch, inches up uh, up and down, okay, and all across this way. So uh, let me go back to SolidWorks. Uh, let me go into my uh, isometric view here, okay? Um, so, I, I can go straight towards to this fillet chamfer option here. Okay. And I can click on it. Actually, there's a drop down. Oops, I'm sorry. Can do it that way. Or since it's a clean cut, I could just do a chamfer here. Okay. And once you have that chamfer option, so this is the one where we specify uh, the, the distance and the angle. So this, since we have a 45 degree cut, I think this is fine. Uh, I think the key thing is you want to enable full preview, okay? And then once you do that, um, and you can change your view here, but I would say you can stay in this view. I know this is the edge that I want to cut, right? Okay, so I'm just going to click on that edge right there. And as soon as you do that, it kind of gives you a preview there, or it gives you a preview that we can't really see here. You can just rotate my you know, model around. You can kind of see it now, or you can see it from the right view. So let's look at the other view. Even view this way. Maybe the front view, let's look at the other way. You can look at this view, or this view right here, this is the right view, okay? Um, and then you can kind of see what this these things do. So 
we know our uh, distance is 0 0.5. So see that you see how the cut got bigger, okay? And then you can also change the angle here. Now let's change the angle. Let's go to 50 and see what happens. You can kind of see what happens, right? So I can make this angle bigger, what happens? Make it smaller, what happens? I can also make these distances bigger, right? Okay. So in our case, it was 0 0.5 and the angle is 45. Okay. Let's say okay. Now we made the we made the cut, right? So uh, now we have our model, we've completely built our model. Okay, this is the front side, right side, top view. Okay, so there we have it. So we, I rebuilt the model we did in class. Um, I can save this and use it later as well, but this is now a finished model. Okay, so hopefully this is helpful. Um, and the uh, additional class exercises should be a lot easier. It's a lot straightforward. It, they're mostly all just rectangular, so it should be much, more, much, much, much easier. Um, and when you do your box project, very similar, right? It's kind of the same idea. Okay. All right. So hopefully this helps. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.